and Trailers is another in the range of computer simulators produced by Excalibur Publishing. It comes in a standard box and it does include an instruction book which has uh, information about the controls and the basic ideas behind the game. Also included is a product catalogue containing uh, some information about other titles and the disc is a standard CD disc. Installation of the software was straightforward and fairly quick on the computer used for the review. So with the software installed we'll proceed to start up the application. Um, just one thing to note, the graphics won't look as good in review as they are on the screen because this has actually been produced in a clunky way by um, filming uh, the computer screen rather than using uh, screen capture from a computer. When it's loaded the first thing it asks you to do is to select a user profile um, so different people could uh, use the game and be in different points in the game. And with the profile selected you're taken through to a menu screen. There are three difficulty levels from easy to pro with pro not allowing you to use any of the external camera views so it's closest to if you were actually the driver. You can choose from a variety of tractor units both right hand drive and left hand drive although none of them are actually indicated as uh, types of uh, tractor in terms of make and you can also choose the colour that you would like uh, for your tractor and let's have a nice blue. As you would expect many of the um, aspects of the simulator are configurable if you go to the options screen uh, the input device, keyboard, controller um, there are many settings for the display and also the audio and there's also a setting for the gameplay a screen where you can uh, set the language and whether the gearbox is automatic and that kind of thing all the things you'd normally expect from a decent simulator okay let's have a go of running the simulation and trying out one of the tasks there are quite a number of tasks but you have to work through them in sequence only by completing one can you then unlock uh, a later one um, and they all start like this with a little bit of a fly through as to what you've got to achieve there you saw the truck and it's just flying us over to the parking place so the activity on this task is to take your truck and trailer and just put it in that parking place inside the cab um, it's quite detailed really it looks uh, quite comfortable um, the instruments on the dashboard work when you're driving which is quite good you can see that the uh, um, you've got the rear view mirrors you can stick your head out of the cab to look behind um, you might need to s switch off the door mirror view because it uh, does use the power of the computer a lot. There's a number of um, views of the vehicle. You can have camera views and the blue cab does look rather nice, doesn't it? Um, sit on the roof, sit on the bumper, and look at the uh, truck from outside. Anyway, we'll try and drive it from inside the cab, so we'll um, start the engine and uh, get it going. These sound effects are uh, not great in my opinion. It's uh, kind of average, um, could be more exciting I think. The steering of the vehicle seems quite realistic and um, it drives at a reasonable speed. You've got to aim to get the truck into the parking place so we're doing that. Looks like we're doing quite well at the moment and I just don't think I stopped quickly enough there so I probably need to go backwards so it's showing yellow so I'm not quite in the right place at the moment but if I reverse it's gone green so I've achieved the task. And that was it, that was the task completed. With that, the next task in the sequence uh, loads and gets ready. And this really is the extent of the simulation. It's just about taking your uh, truck and tra trailer and um, carrying out various parking maneuvers. Um, this one we've got a uh, vehicle transporter and we've got to drive it slightly differently to get it into, um, into the parking place. The graphics on the simulator are reasonable, you've got other vehicles moving, um, you do see pedestrians as well. You can see that the steering action of the truck and trailer seems uh, reasonable. Uh, if you take the overhead view, it's much simpler. But you see what happens if you collide uh, vehicles, there's no um, impact damage or anything to the, um, to the vehicles. Um, the simulator does uh, make you effectively lose marks for having crashes um, but it would be ever so much better if actually vehicles looked damaged after they uh, had crashes. Well we didn't park too well that time but um, rather than completing the task let's um, let's just drive off and see uh, where we can go to with our truck and trailer and the truth is that the simulated world isn't that big um, it really just surrounds the uh, 
parking area that you're trying to work in. So if you get back onto the motorway, you've got these kind of weird crosses which mark the boundaries of the simulated world, and of course you can't go through them. Um, oh dear, someone else has come driving up and gone into us. But it doesn't look like there's any damage, no harm done. Let's take a look at another of the tasks, and this is one of the earlier ones, which is a training exercise. And this is an area where there is actually skill um, in the game, because it's about reversing a truck and trailer into a narrow space. If you're good, you can try and achieve the parking task just by um, having the cab view, so looking out the window, uh, just going backwards here, trying to get the trailer manoeuvred correctly to start reversing it into the space. But it is difficult, and um, so there is a skill to getting it right. Um, it is easier if you have an overhead view like this, um, because then you can see how the trailer and the truck are manoeuvring as you steer. So that does make it um, a little bit easier if you if you need that help. So that's really what this simulation is all about. It's parking trucks and trailers, um, and it's okay at that. It's uh, got some interest and skill to it but in a way it feels like it should be part of a much bigger simulation um, including perhaps driving the truck on roads um, and maybe a business simulation where you can uh, make money by carrying loads and uh, getting them to from A to B quickly that kind of thing. So as a simulator this package is good enough for anyone who wants to have a go at parking a truck and trailer. Mm -hmm.